the Silver Eagle has failed us. This is the Sovereign Silver you need to be buying now. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. This video is humbly sponsored by SD Bullion. Of all the online bullion dealers I've purchased my silver and gold from, SD Bullion is at the very top of my list. Their price, their selection, uh, the incredible customer service, quick delivery never ceases to amaze me. And I have never worked with any online bullion dealer who mirrors my values as much as SD Bullion does. And I know I've said this many times, but if there's anyone out there that has not signed up for their amazing Silver Eagle Monster Box giveaway, it's coming up later this year. Go to sdbullion.com slash Yankee. Put in your email address and get entered into that sweepstakes. Now, speaking of eagles, they have been a crucial part of my silver stacking. They're in my tier one class of precious metals. I love American silver eagles. They're iconic. This one is all scratched up. It's a cull circulated. I have a big number of cull circulated silver eagles in my monster box. And uh, I did also just finish my Canadian maple monster box. I'm not far from the Canadian border. It makes sense as a prepper stacker to stick with sovereign silver from my country of origin and, you know, countries nearby. However, since 2021 and the introduction of the Type 2 reverse, the lower mintages overall, the closures of the U.S. Mint during the pandemic, the U.S. Mint's subsequent production problems, their inability to satisfy demand because of their legal requirement to buy their planchettes at spot price. That's unbelievable. And of course, the ensuing craziness with premiums. I've had to leave my tier one silver targets behind. That's right. Goodbye. Now, of course, if I come across a phenomenal deal for a, a, a tube of, of silver eagles, or, or, or a maple, or just a couple maples, I'll, I'll buy it. It's still silver. But this is what I've been focusing on more than the Silver Eagle. No, th this right now, uh, I got from an, an amazing um, a private sale. All right. I think I'll pull in right here. <laughs> so while I wait for him to show up, I want to stress something very important. When you're doing a private sale, make sure you do the exchange in a very public place where people can see you. Uh, try not to divulge any uh, personal information. This gentleman that I've uh, done deals with now for over two years doesn't even know my name. Uh, first name more or less, just Yankee. I think that's important. Uh, no matter how much uh, you feel comfortable, make sure that you take the appropriate operational security measures and uh, just be careful, all right? Don't go to someone's house or have them come over to your house, okay? Go go somewhere public during the day. <laughs> hey, here he is. How you doing, man? I'm doing well. Always better when I see you. Good. I'm great to see you, too. Thank you. Thank what do you, you. got? I got uh, 13 uh, Britannias, uh, 12, 20, 22, 1, 20, 20. How um, many yeah, have You want to take them out and look at them, please? Oh, please. absolutely. you mind if I bring them over here? I don't mind. Oh, man. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> Those are pretty. Thank you. Uh, is this... Do you look at silver and gold like a like a savings account or something? I do, you know, uh, to be completely honest with you, I am an impulsive person. <laughs> and um, I, whenever I get a paycheck, I just buy gold and silver mm -hmm. like this. Like, But it's actually better than, you know, not having it. It's um, it, I get some instant gratification from having it. Look, I'm just saying, I know Thank I you. take some losses. I, I actually save more money this way if wow. I just had it in a bank account. That's I, awesome. Well, hey. <laughs> Do you? I know you buy and sell sometimes with Tim, right? Yep. Um, have you ever purchased with SD Bullion? SD Bullion. No. Dot com. You got to check out SD Bullion dot com. Yeah, tell me why. Uh, first of all, they are one of the best dealers in terms of price. Okay. 
They are super quick in their delivery. They run their company way above board. And so I really respect the way they operate. Okay. Uh, you'll get some really great selection there too. Check out sdbullion.com. I will. Actually, sign up for their newsletter. Sign up at sdbullion.com slash Yankee. Okay. You do that, all right? I will do it. All right, thanks, buddy. All right, let's get these in the tube where they belong. I have lovely as always, Yankee. Thank, Thank you. Transaction. Appreciate it. Take care. Oh, wow. I don't have 13 anymore because I gave away one on the last Ask Yankee, uh, my live stream. That was fun to do, but I still have a dozen <laughs> and they are very nice. They are more economical than an American Silver Eagle or a Canadian Maple Leaf. And at $1 over spot, I mean, that's a deal you cannot pass up. I don't care. <laughs> I mean, whatever they are, a buck over spot, definitely. Private sales, that is, you know, a, 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 a less common way to buy your silver. If you get the opportunity to do it, do it safely. Um, definitely do it with someone that you trust. So I think you should be stacking silver Britannias right now. I do, especially if you agree with me that Sovereign Silver still is a smart move. Now, I don't know if a, a monster box of silver Britannias are in my future. I kind of doubt it. But hey, you know what? If you live across the pond in Great Britain, I think this is a no-brainer. Buy silver Britannias while the price is still relatively low. So there you have it. The silver Britannia has taken the place of the Silver Eagle and Silver Maple Leaf for my stack. Thanks so much for watching. Please hit the like on the way out. And as always, I hope your day is a-okay.